Um, so yeah, we're at the bus station. We're um, about to go to a different country. We're about to go to Albania. So that's going to be fun, exciting. It's it's going to be about about four hour coach ride. Uh, probably a stoppage, something like that in between. So looking forward to something different. Uh, our Tesla taxi driver, because uh, that's some of the uh, taxis around here are Teslas, which is cool. First time being in a Tesla. Um, said, uh, be careful in Albania. I was looking forward to my trip, mate, to be honest. Uh, but um, also, why, like, when you're in the toilets in these foreign countries, they charge you. And I, again, I'm not against charging for toilets. But they need to be fucking clean. They're never fucking clean. I'm putting my piss here. But it needs to be clean. I feel dirty every time I come out of one. And I'm paying for this. It's like, what are you there for, mate? What, if that's your job, do your job. Get some up and bucket out, son. Um, I'm not really enjoying Albania. Um, it's just fucking complicated. Their driving's shocking. It's like, in Egypt I expected it because there's no fucking rules, but here there's, there's rules and it's fucking mad. And then also I end up getting into a taxi that's metres and... and what is it with taxi meters? They're just like, you sit there and all you do is watch them and you you instantly get cross. You're instantly a fuming because it's going up and you're not moving. Like, my place went up like 10. Every so often, here we go, more. And all I'm watching going, we're not going anywhere. It's gonna cost me more than I wanna pay. And he's like coasting. When we started off, he was zooming. Couldn't get any quicker. Obviously, he wanted to get that fucking meter going, clearly. And the most thing that's pissed me off about it, it's cost me next to fuck all. And that's what's, that's probably what more has wound me up, that I've been wound up over something that hasn't cost me a lot. Also, he didn't have a fucking clue where he was going as well. I've had to walk five minutes. What's the fucking point? You use Google and it's still shit. Genuinely though, if it wasn't for Google, I wouldn't bother. It, it, it's not worth it, it's too stressful. Imagine people back in the day reading maps, having to converse and try and speak the language. Fuck that. So we come to um, the Pyramid of uh, Turan. Um, but it's all boarded up, it's getting revamped up and to be honest the pictures look great. Um, so yeah, a bit wounded about that because it looks old and tatty and stuff like that but it's actually like super super cool. Um, and so like right now I'll show you the pictures. So this is Pyramida Sitaran. Yes, and this is to do things for the Albanian and American Development Foundation. Oh right, you read that. I was about to say, I don't know how the fucking hell you worked that one out. Anyway, so actually looks a lot better. Uh, it's something that used to, it was opened in 1988. Um, and it was, it used to be a museum. Uh, a few years later, it turned into a conference center. Then after that, during the Kosovan war, um, was a NATO uh, base. Uh, and now it fucking locked off to the public, but um, yeah, the photos are, would have been really good, especially with it old, had a lot of graffiti on it. Um, it was a bit of a landmark uh, to the city. Um, but unfortunately, we ain't gonna get to see it. But can't wait to see what it actually looks like. I do think uh, I'll probably be back here. Walk north on Boulevardi dash Morty Cumbit towards Boulevardi Badro and Curry on Aza. Uh, Montenegro, you can really see that Albania is um, slowly modernizing um, with new buildings, new technologies, um, and it's definitely becoming um, a place where you can see that they're really trying to invest in tourism as well. Um, because, especially with Western Europe, you know, we, we're used to this modernization. Um, 
but it's really really nice i think also as well like any country you gotta keep some of the fucking old shit so that's what i personally like um and it's all about identity as well which is really important um but yeah uh, i'm slowly now i've realized dropped my stuff off we're in the apartment i'm starting to like it a little bit more um we need to do a little um apartment tour so we'll do that in a sec maybe right now So we are at Bunk Art number one. Um, we're gonna go to number two later today. Um, if you buy for both bunks, one and two, you get to save uh, 200 lek. So it's a small saving, um, maybe just about one pound 50, but a saving's a saving. Um, so these bunkers were made for a war that never happened, never was going to happen. But back to that uh, dictator guy, he always thought the war was a coming. Stand up. have something for the kids learning's important especially at that young age they learn a lot of skills endless corridors in this bunker endless rooms unoccupied I'm not gonna lie it's fucking chilly down here it's quite nice 
sun is warm today. Just about to go on the cable cart, uh, up to the mountain, and it's going faster than I expected. And so this is nice. Got views and that, some of the city, and yeah, I guess we're going up there. Pretty high up. nearly at the top not gonna lie it's not been a journey I've enjoyed I realized I'm not a fan of heights and definitely not a fan of falling looks painful Together for a bit of a learning, a bit of an immersive experience that we can all 